Uh, my name is Georgina Lightning and I'm the filmmaker of Older Than America is the feature. Full-length feature film, it's dr dramatic suspense. And we have a cast, all-star stellar Native American cast, uh, Adam Beach, Wes Duty, Tantu Cardinal, Lynn Gould, Gloria Ashkabak. Uh, and the film is a, it deals with the Indian boarding school atrocities, the lasting effect of Which the atrocities? The boarding school. Oh, the boarding school. Yeah, the forced genocide, Native American boarding school. That what year did that take place? It was taking place all the way from uh, prior to the early, well, late the 1800s, right up the last incident is 1975. So it was mandatory assimilation, basically. Uh, mm -hmm. Children were pulled out, Native children were forced uh, out of their homes. It was mandatory. You had to be institutionalized from 6 to 18, and if you weren't, uh, uh, if your parents you know, tried to hold you back, they were imprisoned. So it was, you know, it was a big deal. Mm -hmm. um, my dad was a victim of boarding school. I'm a product of boarding school, and that's kind of what, uh, it's always been Is with that me. That's part of what started the this reason project. why. Yeah. How long ago was that, that this, uh, the seed of thought to do this documentary took place? How long it's ago It's actually was that? a dramatic narrative. It's oh, not, okay, it's great. It's not a documentary. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, we deal with the boarding school issue, but the plot line is we follow a woman's journey into the discovery of what happened in the boarding school um, because she wasn't raised traditionally mm -hmm. or with any kind of uh, connection to her native heritage. She was raised in a Catholic home. Um, my dad was a Catholic boarding school kid. So it's, it's just all it kind of tied. There's a lot of connection to my family mm -hmm. in this whole thing. How did your father react to the finished product? Was Actually, um, my dad has been passed on since I was 18 years old. Oh. My dad committed suicide when I was 18. Oh, and I'm, I'm sorry to hear from, that. From uh, boarding school, he was enraged. He always dealt with the, the demons of. Well, I, I personally believe somewhere, somehow, uh, he's he's getting the uh, yeah, the end result absolutely. of your project. I'm sure. Yeah, my mm -hmm. aunts and uncles were all at, the, and they were all boarding school kids, and they were at this Canadian premiere, and it was. It was pretty emotional. They were all very happy about it. What's the length of the uh, film? It's 103 minutes. 103. And how long did it take you to uh, film the project? We shot it in 27 days, and then we had a couple pickup days. Aside from that, I was, you know, after we edited, we went back and did some. Pickups. What's the size of the cast? There's probably how many, Aaron? Like. I'd say about 15, yeah, 12 15 cast members that actually have substantial roles. Is this your first film? As a director, it's my first. It's my debut. Yeah. And I loved it. And I understand that the uh, the show is sold out right now. Yeah, it sold out the day it went on sale, so we're really happy about that. Mm -hmm. And what a great festival, Traverse City Film Festival. Is this your first time here? Place. Yeah, I've never been here before. Have you ever so. been to the Okanagan, uh, uh, Okanagan Valley, uh, uh, Kelowna, uh, print, uh, Penedictine and uh, Vernon, right there in British Columbia, no. around the Lake of Many Colors. No, That's no. what this reminds me of. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's very, very pretty. It's beautiful. There is a lot of similarities to, to British Columbia, being near the water. And so, uh, Georgina, what do, do you have your uh, eyes set on any other future projects that you're working on? Yes, I do. I have a couple. I have two in the works, actually. I go back and forth because one's more serious and one's more comedic chick action flick so depends on what mood I'm in and what kind of ideas are coming to which, which, which one do you think is going to win up the action chick flick I have a feeling uh, the action chick flick, flick <laughs> next it's, it's a little too the, the climate right now I don't think would be able to receive the well this was this was a very thing. sentimental project yeah it was, and uh, you, so it was I think really close to home so I think I need to step away from that a bit. you need to have a little comedy in your life yeah, right now absolutely. Georgina thank you so much for uh, sharing the, the vision of your film, and I wish you the best of uh, fortune Thank and success. You. And check out our website too. I will. www.olderthanamerica.com. We have a trailer. We have the entire cast and and the production team articles, links to boarding school information if you're interested. Where else is this uh, airing? Uh, well, we have a a whole festival tour planned. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got about 30 more festivals on our list. We're not sure which ones, you know we're going to be accepted to, but we've submitted to about 30 more festivals. We've had a, we've had good success. So what far, was your uh, what stuff. was your 
Where were you and what was your response when you first found out that your, your uh, film was accepted by Michael Moore and the board of directors of uh, my Carver apartment. City Film Festival? I was in my apartment and I got an email or a phone call from Aaron Schlor, my assistant to the director. So yeah, he uh, let me know that we got into Michael Moore's festival and it's like, oh, cool. That's so what did you so oh, I went online right away and started what did you researching do? it. What did you do? I was like, awesome, <laughs> yoo <-hoo." laughs> We're in, that's cool. It's a really cool festival. So. Fantastic. Yeah. Georgina, you have a great time here in Traverse Thank City. Thank you. Thank you now. All right.